So we're here today in the boreal forest. We're in the Narrow Hills Provincial Park, just east of Candle Lake. And we're going to be looking at a Brunisolic order soil. The overall climate in this area is characterized by long, cold winters and short, cool summers. The precipitation in this area is about 400 millimeters per year, which is similar to what we were seeing down in the grasslands. But unlike uh, the, the area that we looked at around the, in the St. Denis National Wildlife Area, uh, with the cooler weather here we have uh, less evapotranspiration and so we've got an overall a slightly moister climate. In terms of the vegetation, it is a, a mixture of, uh, of forest vegetation throughout much of this region, but right where we are, given the characteristics of the soil and the climate, we've got predominantly jack pine vegetation. So this is a fairly dry, well-drained site, so we've got the, the dominance of the jack pine vegetation, we've got some small blueberry shrubs around in the area, uh, a little bit of bearberry, and then right on the ground cover we have some feathery moss and some reindeer moss. In terms of the overall uh, other characteristics of this area, uh, the, one of the most important things that gives rise to the, the soil that we're seeing here is the parent material. And so the parent material here is what we would refer to as a fluvial lacustrine deposit. Basically, it's not unlike a, uh, a beach deposit in a sense, a beach or a delta deposit, where uh, d the d deposition of material uh, running off and draining into a, a, a broad uh, glacial lake, in the, in the shoreline of that lake, as the water is moving in and being deposited, it's being, uh, it moves in with some energy, slows down as it hits the lake, and sandy particles are de deposited first. So we're in sort of that sandier area where the, those, those, uh, those particles have been deposited. And then the fine particles would be carried further on down into the bottom of the lake. And so this is uh, the, the fluvial lacustrine area. And so within this area, we might see some gradations depending on the, the timing of the deposition, gradations in terms of coarse versus fine, depending on the, the energy of the water as it was draining into that lake. Uh, but generally, it's dominated by this sandy material. So this gives rise to these very, very well-drained soils, and it ultimately contributes to the properties of this particular order.